Our top story this morning, new overnight, a deadly shooting after a concealed carry license holder opens fire on someone opening fire on him. The fuck out here, hey. Yeah, I heard it through the pipeline. Rooting about how they gon' rob me in the night time. For real, they just waiting for the right time. But guess what? You never catch me without mine. Without mine. 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 You never catch me without mine. Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Smoke Tales. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you got it on you because I got it on me. You know how we getting down on this end. Video shows driver run over boss in West Las Vegas neighborhood after being fired and shot by neighbor. Stephen Bowman told 8 News he dodged death on Thursday evening. After police said a man who had just been fired by his employer drove a SUV through neighborhood sidewalks and streets. Police responded to reports of a driver attempting to run over a pedestrian near Charleston and Decatur Thursday evening around 6.30 p.m. That pedestrian just fired the driver from his job. The man who was struck by the car was conducting remodeling of a house on the 900 block of Dover Place. When the employee showed up to work in the condition unfit to do his job and was fired, this man get fired and tried to run over his boss and got clapped. The man is dead accused of using an SUV to run into his boss who had just fired him. Police say his rage led to a deadly shooting that sent two people to the hospital. This was around 6.30 last night near Charleston and Decatur in the West Valley. 8 News Now reporter Ryan Matthew has a video of it happening. I heard somebody say he's coming back and I was trying, I couldn't move. 67-year-old Stephen Bowman dodged death. A disgruntled construction worker was driving a deadly weapon, but Bowman wasn't the target. The suspect entered into the vehicle and began trying to chase down his employer. Police say a nearby home was being remodeled Thursday evening, indicating one worker showed up to work intoxicated. Fired by his boss on the spot, it started as a verbal fight. Police say this was the house that the conflict began in before that construction worker jumped in his car, began driving this way. Neighbors tell us this was the same direction that the employer was walking. We make this turn around the corner, it becomes more chaotic. One, two, three different properties, all completely smashed by that car before turning deadly. It's like a blasted movie. Neighbors stepped out of their homes to this. Security footage captures minutes of the black SUV chasing down the employer, zigzagging through this and other neighborhood streets. Then driving backwards, contact is made. We're pausing the video here as the employer is run over and catapulted into the nearby wall. I see the guy laying down. He's laying face down and yeah. he's not moving. But the intoxicated driver wasn't finished. I'm hollering at him, stop, stop. And the guy wouldn't stop. Anna Tilly okay. says she told her 27 year old grandson to get her shotgun. I'm um, throwing me the gun. And he, no, he raised the gun. I saw him. I thought, oh my God, oh my God. He's just going to raise the gun. But he raised it and the guy just kept coming at him. And then her grandson subdues him, later cooperating with police before release by Friday morning. He was going crazy. You knew he was coming we, towards yeah, you. Yeah. Bowman was struck by wall debris and left with a mutilated leg. It happened so fast. You don't understand. It happened so fast. Did you think you were going to die? Absolutely. Left with a stretch of neighborhood that now, too, needs remodeling. Reporting from the West Valley, Ryan Matthey, 8 News Now. Now, the injured man you heard was out of the hospital within eight hours. The other man remains in the hospital with non-life-threatening but major injuries as of last update. Details of the driver are still unknown. Yeah, man. So you see how they getting down out there in Las Vegas. This man showed up to the job intoxicated and got fired. Tried to run his boss over, reversing and driving all through the neighborhood all while. But you see, Grandma, she said, boy, get that shotgun. Well, that was it for his ass. They talking about they don't know what happened to the driver. We just heard what happened to him. He got hit with that shotty. Remember training day when Denzel told Jake, boy, how you want it? I do surgery with this motherfucker, boy, that shotty. That bitch will hit you up. He was playing games with his life. He might as well went on the strip and played some bets. Shit, they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. 
Guess this is where his ass gonna be staying at. Man, this your boy Smoke Tales, man. Until next time, you never catch me without mine. Without mine, 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 you never catch me without mine.